everyone, Suzanne the Rager here. Welcome to my playthrough of the Tomb Raider 2 level Wreck of the Maria Doria. It feels great to be back recording again. I know it doesn't seem like I've been away, but I pre-recorded the last few videos, so I actually haven't recorded a video in about three weeks. I actually managed to make it to Norway for Christmas, so yay, that was great. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram at Fan Tomb Raider, you'll have seen some of my Tomb Raider cosplay pictures that I did. I was super nervous about that, but it was really fun. But I definitely think I'm going to do a lot more of them in the next year. I'm really, really tired today. Just to warn you, I still haven't recovered from my trip. And I know everyone's gonna say, but Suzanne, Ireland and Norway only have a one hour time difference. That is true, but I missed out on an entire night's sleep. I had to arrive at the airport at 11.30 p.m before my flight to get my COVID test so I could actually get on the plane and then had to wait in the airport all night until my flight at 7.40 a.m. So I'm not as young as I used to be. I still have not recovered from that last night's sleep. I have so much concealer around my eyes that I actually am having trouble blinking. Sorry this is a really long intro, but I just have to shout out three amazing things that have happened recently. First of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to Wixley, who gave me a really nice shout out at the start of his Tomb Raider 2013 playthrough. I will link his channel down in the description box below, so if you want to see Tomb Raider 2013 being played through, definitely go and check out his channel. He's really fun to watch and I really, really love that game. Secondly, I just want to really quickly shout out Rick, who commented on my last video and who is actually the designer of this t-shirt that I'm wearing that my hair is probably completely covering. But the, <laughs> he's the designer of the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Um, and yeah, he gave a little comment under the last video. So hi, Rick. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for designing this amazing t-shirt. It is genuinely one of my favorites. And finally, I reached 50 subscribers. Thank you so, so much to everyone who's subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. I know 50 pro probably doesn't seem like a lot to some people, but to me, that's really, really huge, a really big deal. Thank you so much. Well, at least it was 50 when I recorded this. If it goes down again, it, it was 50. <laughs> And now I've definitely been yabbering on for long enough, so let's just get into the level. Okay. Oh. Uh, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of forget how to use this, this keyboard. I was getting kind of good at it uh, before Christmas, and now it's been a three week gap, and I kind of, I'm really bad at it again. So just bear with me. Oh. to automatic this guy. Where are you? Just swimming around there like a creep. Why don't you come up here and face me like a frog man? I hate these guys. Oh, hang on, he's coming up now, I think. Come on. Are you serious? Oh, come on, okay. I need the stop it, stop. I need the harpoons for the Sharks. Did I get him? I did. Okay. That's good. What a creepy, creepy guy. Whoever thought those men up has some kind of issues.
like I'm kind of playing like an idiot at the moment. I, I will get used to the, the keyboard again. Okay, so you lose a lot of life here, but you can do a, a thing where you don't and and I clearly failed and broke my neck. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be one of those days. Okay. Let's, let's try it again. Maybe it's you have to like... Oh no. Is my inventory upside down? What? Is, is this some kind of thing? Because the wreck of the Maria door is upside down? I'm so confused. What's happening? Okay, let's just take this and survive. It, it, is it constantly upside down? It is. Okay, I have no idea what happened with that. Now I closed the game, reloaded, and now the inventory is totally fine. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. Let's just do this again. Okay, so um, there is a way to do that where you can like jump onto the other breakable tiles and then hang on to one as you fall so you don't lose as much life. Obviously, I completely suck and failed at that. And yeah, that was some kind of really weird glitch with the game there, but um, I just thought it was such a funny glitch because the inventory was upside down and the Maria Doria is upside down. Anyway, I'm just going to continue. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Oh. Okay, I'll just hit my head off the bench. Uh -huh. But this, oh no, it's not a bench. Is that a diving board? This is a pool. Oh, so cool. That's amazing. I never stopped to notice before that this is what I think is an upside down pool. And that must be the diving board. And these must be like the little changing rooms. Ah, huh, that's really cool. Okay, this level's gonna take me a long time if I'm constantly stopping to look at things, mm -hmm. which I will be, so. I apologize in advance. Okay, and I remember there is a sneaky secret up here. Whoops. me or did he literally materialize out of nowhere or am I just blind I don't know I'll see when I watch it back but that was that was scary okay you have nothing Ooh. you also have nothing
Oh yeah, while I'm really boringly pulling these blocks, I might as well say what I forgot to say, which is I'm pretty sure that this video or this level is going to be in two parts because from what I remember, this is quite a long level. I remember being stuck and quite frustrated at this level. It's very long and confusing. Um, so yeah, I think it'll definitely be in two parts. So this will be part one. I think if I remember correctly, you can kind of easily divide the level into two parts because there's kind of this side of the ship that we're on now and then there's the other side of the ship. So I think I'm just gonna do one side per video. to film both videos today so they should be up one day after another as usual. I'll have to see how tired I am and how long my concealer holds up for. I'm joking. here until we have that open but I do remember that there is a little key in here save it before I impale myself oh yeah she doesn't maneuver while you're walking that is awkward colors in these levels are just amazing. I think a lot of people have the same opinion that these are some of the best kind of textures in the whole game and yeah I really really agree. I just think the colors, the details are just gorgeous in this level and this is obviously some kind of ballroom I think that's upside down so we're again we're on the ceiling so I guess that's the carpet and yeah, kind of stairs or ramp there and the ballroom floor thing. So that's pretty cool. I'm making a real effort to look around because I don't know, just you miss a lot of stuff when you don't have a look. Oh, is there going to be someone down here? No? Oh, okay. This is so cool. It's terrifying though. atmosphere is chilling. And I'm not 
not sure that this is meant to be some kind of like cafe or lounge area for people on the Maria Doria. Ugh. Although I do get kind of confused because, right, this is meant to be Gianni Bartoli's boat, right? But it, it looks like a commercial liner as well. You know, it looks like it, like it has the pool and the places to eat and all that kind of thing. So I'm like, did he just buy a really, really fancy boat for him and his crew because he's extra like that? Or is this something that he did use commercially, but when he was taking the trip to Tibet, he was just like, do you know what? I want to go there in style. I'm going to use my commercial liner just all for myself. I'm aware that I overthink things, but, <laughs> but these are the thoughts that go through my head. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, oh yeah, I get it over here, or, oh no, it's over here. I actually haven't saved it in a while, I don't think. Letting my compulsive saverness down. And I remember that there is a fuse thingy. Um, I don't remember the the name of them, but there's a, a one of those fuse thingies um, around the other side. But it is quicker. There is a quicker way to get that a bit mm -hmm. later in the level. So yeah, just to save time, I think I will get that later. This one is just an empty room. It's a, how do you say, a red herring um, to get you to waste some time, I think. So yeah, there is nothing, nothing in there. these parts of the ship are supposed to be I presume um, the cargo hold or something because there's boxes and stuff um, that's my very very professional educated guess it's it's a cargo hold because there's boxes and stuff I'm tired today. <laughs> I think that opened up there. Yeah. And put this out. <laughs> but luckily I remember this level quite well and <gasps> Just as I said that, I just remembered that I did something very silly earlier. Oh no. I forgot to I forgot to reclose the doors, didn't I? Yeah, with that button earlier. If you don't reclose the doors, you can't get the fuse thingy. Oh dear. 
I'll go back and do that after I've done this. It's always when I'm feeling good about myself that, uh, you know, things happen just, just to remind me that I'm crap. <laughs> oh no. Oh! And he doesn't even have anything. Fine. pretty sure I forgot to do it but oh a key okay uh -huh. but if I did I'm sure anyone watching who knows was probably like push the button I've done it myself and oops there's a big pipe in the way and uh, yep yeah, done the exact same mistake Oh no! <gasps> this is so bad. I am about to lose my mind on this upside down ship. What's in there? Another load of boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna go back now and push that button. Okay. Yeah. I left them open. It's a good thing I remembered before I actually got all the way to that point because then I would have been pretty mad. What am I doing? That's the keyhole, not the button. Can I blame jet lag? I'm not sure. Okay. There we go. Okay, where am I going? Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm equal parts mad at myself. Oh no, I did this wrong. Suzanne, how are you going to? Oh. So yeah, I was saying I'm equal parts mad at myself and proud of myself. Mad that I forgot to repress the button in the first place but proud that I remembered before I got all the way to that point again but now I'm a little more mad at myself for just constantly doing stupid things at this level I presume this is pull I've done something wrong again. Maybe the second one is push. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's push. Okay. 
Oh, and I've just realized that I have the shotgun equipped instead of the harpoon gun and it doesn't look right. It ruins my outfit. I'm going to save it because I remember this bit. You saw my eyes widen there it's because I've just remembered what the gold dragon in this level is lots of sharks yay okay uh, I'm pretty sure I jumped in here first meant to be a lifeboat or something. Looks like a very crappy lifeboat. Mm. Should I pull this first or do this first? little throwback to Tomb Raider 1 there if anyone remembers the one secret and I believe it's in Natla's Mines that we have that same kind of setup for a secret so uh, yeah I like that hear his unbelievably loud footsteps.
look, you can see sharks swimming. That's really cool. And I can say it's cool because we don't have to go in there. Cool to look at from a distance. Um, as far as I'm aware though, you cannot kill those sharks. They're just there for effect. That's really cool. And I presume this is meant to be again, some kind of like upside down ballroom type thingy with a, with a glass ceiling. Um, okay, he doesn't have anything. Mm -hmm. And a neck back. Great, that actually went well. Finally, something went well in this level. just saved it. Oops. Okay, so this time uh, we go in backwards. <laughs> Great. This is the bit I would have screamed at in frustration for anyone who has never played this before. If I hadn't reclosed the doors, of course they well, would have been open, <laughs> of course, but the, the door would have blocked my way through there and I wouldn't have been able to run through to pick up this. Um, now there is a way to mm. shortcut back to that room, but then I do believe you have to climb all the way back through the long way then. So, quite annoying. Um, and one of these leads us back to the other fuse. So yes, this is the one that Ah, we just opened that trap door. So this is the one that drops us back into that room with that switch to open and close those doors. So you can go back through there if you messed it up, like I almost did. Or we can climb back out through this way and get the other fuse. Hang on, I can hear someone walking around. I don't think he's in here. Uh -huh. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure we have three of those now. Ah, oh, there he is. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I think that's everything on this side of the ship. So the next part of the level will be on this side through here. Thank you so much for playing through this part one of Wreck of the Maria Doria with me. 
I can't stop laughing because I can't believe how bad that playthrough was. But you know, it was still a bit of fun as well. Uh, I will try and be not as bad in the next part. But I am very tired in, in my defense, so we'll just, we'll just stick with that. Please like, subscribe and comment. I always love chatting to everyone in the comments. And yeah, a like and a subscribe means so much. And I will see you all in the next video.